the low pass, high pass out. Let's actually start with the notch. So I'm going to try and get it as close as I can to the 12 o'clock position right there. Bring my level down a little bit because I know that it was already distorting. I'm going to patch right into the low pass, high pass out. So I should hear uh, somewhat of a notch filter. Here we go. And yeah, to my ears, that does sound like a notch filter. So now I can go in and start to uh, play with the frequency setting if I want to of my notch filter. This actually brings up an interesting point. One of the things that I found in doing my little uh, demos and tests with this filter is I immediately started getting very, very nice um, formant sounds and uh, filter uh, type sounds that are very bouncy than some of the other filters that I've heard in the past. I don't know what other way to describe it other than to say that. Uh, but very kind of springy, bouncy type filter effects. Uh, different than what I've heard with the A106 or the A121 or even uh, the A120 for that matter, just a standard low pass filter. Uh, but let's play around with this a little bit more. Let's go a little higher in the cutoff of our notch. Take it up. Pick up here somewhere. Okay. Now let's play with the resonance a little bit. See if we get anything interesting. I'm going to bring it over here somewhere. Not hearing too much. Let's bring up the level a little bit. So there we're still getting kind of a, a mild notch filter. Not really getting too much distortion. Let's try cranking the resonance just a little. Yep, still not getting too much distortion. Not necessarily a, a bad thing. If that's the sound you're going for. Okay, so now that we've explored the notch a little bit, let's hear the standard low pass. So I'm going to bring this down. Let me bring down my resonance just a little bit and my level, just a hair. I'm going to bring it over all the way to the low pass segment. And now let's play with the frequency cutoff. Little resonance goes a long way in this situation, so let's bring this down a little bit. Bring the level down a little. Just the cutoff. So there we're getting what we would expect would be a standard low pass type sound. However, it does sound a little bit different uh, if you listen to a lot of different low pass filters. It does sound a little bit different in character to what you might be used to as far as a low pass filter. At least it was for me. Um, so just want to mention that so you can go back maybe compare it to the A120 uh, filtering demos uh, that I've done in the past. Let's play around with the cutoff a little bit more. Let's get it right about there, right where it starts to get muffled, and let's bring up the resonance a little bit. And bring the level down just a tad. There you go. Almost like a somewhat of a vocodery type formanty type sound right there. Definitely pleasing to the ear, at least to my ear. This is just the cutoff right there. Okay, so this is our still we're just doing low pass here. We have not veered away from notch. Uh, we have veered away from notch. Uh, but we haven't done any of the flavors in the middle. So you can hear that you can get quite a different variety of sounds from the simple low pass setting. Um, might take you hours to explore. But for the purposes of our demo, we're not going to take hours. Uh, I'm sure some of you are breathing a big sigh of relief. So let's, uh, let's go up and maybe try it about here, where we're increasing the ratio of our high pass to our low pass. And then just play with the cutoff a little bit. 
There's kind of a different sound that we haven't heard before. I'm going to increase my level right there. Now I like this sound, uh, but I would like a little more kind of high, almost like where I can tell the filter's open. So what I want to do is go in and bring up the cutoff. Quite the sound I was going for. Let me bring it back right about there, and then let me bring my resonance back a little. Yeah, like right about there. So that's a nice little in-between, low pass, high pass, uh, nice little amount of resonance. It's kind of making it distort. Those my level. I kind of like it right there too. Uh, I could crank it all the way up. Just go nuts. Where my mixer is telling me that it really doesn't like me anymore because it's going in the red. Let me bring it back this way. So that's our low pass. We've done the notch part of this. It was right around there. Now let's explore a little bit over into the high pass region. So let's crank it over there all the way to high pass. A little more subdued, higher frequencies, of course. Maybe bring the cutoff up a little. Very thin kind of sound, what we expect from a high pass. Let's bring up our uh, level here. Very tinny, kind of metallic sounding. Let's crank the resonance a little bit. See if we can get some nice activity from there. That's very nice. Let's bring up the cutoff again. That's kind of interesting, only certain little notes will pop through. Let's bring up the level. It's kind of brassy, tinny kind of sound. Let's play with that a little bit, bring the frequency to cut off down a little. Maybe the resonance down a little. And then, of course, all the little flavors in between. So, quite a bit of variety, as you can hear, from the low-pass section of this module to the high-pass section of this module, even to the notch filter section of this module. Um, all the flavors in between, uh, you can see that the way that you're going to get different uh, characters out of this guy is to play with the resonance just the input attenuator over here uh, and then adjust your mix level if you're coming out the low low pass high pass so adjusting that ratio is really going to help you out uh, in changing the character of this filter uh, band pass uh, we pretty much had a set number of tools to adjust we had our level frequency and of course uh, resonance helped us out in that one so not so much the mix control um, at any rate that is going to be the little demonstration portion that we're doing on the A124 for the basic uh, filter types that are found in this module. Um, in the next one segment of this, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at another filter that's uh, similar only really in function uh, that has a band pass, a low pass, and a high pass, and of course a notch, which we did uh, a couple weeks back. And it's right over here, the A121. He's just kind of been waiting in the wings. Um, now wants to get in and play a little bit. So what we'll be doing is comparing uh, the band pass of this little guy with the band pass of this one. And the notch of this one with the notch of this one. And just kind of hear how they sound a little bit different or similar in some ways. And then we'll be doing the same thing for the low pass and the high pass as well. So please stay tuned for that. And uh, keep on patching out there. I hope this was useful for you. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time.